Welcome, oh, this is going to be close, to Miss Pam Reads. Today we are reading a very big book, Bear Feels Scared, by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Oh yeah, it's all there. Good. Ooh, it's kind of a blustery night there, huh? Bear Feels Scared, by Karma Wilson. Illustrations by Jane Chapman. In the deep, dark woods by the strawberry veil, a big bear lumbers down a small, crooked trail. Bear's tummy growls as he looks for a snack, but it's cold, 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 so the bear turns back. He is not home yet, when the sun starts to set and the bear feels scared. Bear shakes and he shivers as a storm starts to howl. Bear mutters, what is that? Are there spooks on the prowl? The path gets dimmer and the sky grows gray. Bear looks to and fro, but he can't find his way. He huddles by a tree and he wails, poor me! And the bear feels scared. Meanwhile, back in the warm cozy lair, friends start to worry for their poor lost bear. It is late, Mouse squeaks, and our bear doesn't roam. There's a storm, cried Hare. Shouldn't bear be home? Wren tweets from his perch. We must all go and search. What if bear feels scared? The friends bundle up and begin to prepare. They form a search party for their lost friend, Bear. But Bear is all alone and he sheds big tears. There's a noise in the forest and he feels big fears. Bear trembles in the wind, how he longs for a friend. And the bear feels scared. Badger lights a lamp and he shouts, let's go. All the birds search high while the rest search low. With a flounce and a flutter, they set off together. They trudge down the trail through the wild, wet weather. They call, ho bear, are you there? Are you there? And the bear feels scared. But he perks up his ears. Is it mole calling out? And is that hare's voice? Does bear hear him shout? Wren, owl, and raven all squawk from the sky. It is bear, he is there. And they sigh, big sighs. By a tree waits Bear, 10 feet from his lair. And the bear looks scared. With a flap and a flurry, all the friends gather near. They give him bear hugs. They calm his bare fears. Later in the night, all clustered in a heap, the bear spins stories while his friends fall asleep. Cuddled up tight, they snore through the night and the bear feels safe. The end. Thank you for joining me for Miss P.
p.m. reads.